Mike Brindle has been murdered, in case you didn't know. Oh, God. What I'm gonna do, Damon, is confine you to your house until we get this sorted out. If you need anything, one of my men will get it for you. More whiskey. And I'll trouble you for a photograph of yourself. Mr. McCann wants to send it to England. You can take that one there. It'll prove to you I'm not this tumblebee. Where did you learn that name? You mentioned it earlier, Inspector, when you came by my house. With the knife. What now? Well, I shall carry this photograph to New York, put it on a ship for London, and we should know the truth in about three weeks. Meanwhile, you wire the Massachusetts Medical Board and see if Tilford was telling the truth. What if someone else did those killings? Somebody you don't suspect. Do you have anyone in mind? Well, it could be anyone, couldn't it? Well, yes, I suppose it could. And if you'll excuse me, I have to see Miss LeMay. Send that for you right away, Sheriff. So you'll be leaving for New York tomorrow? Yes. Will you come back? I'd feel much easier if you'd come with me. You're rather special to me, Rita. Do you have a first name, detective? It's Archie. Will you come? We could ride to the railhead by mid-afternoon and catch the Eastbound Limited. I can't. Not now. I have to look out for my girls. Hmm. Tough customer. Very well. But don't go out at night and keep your doors and windows locked. I promise. You know, I've never made love to an Archie. Relax, Archie. It's on the house. I don't want to leave you, Rita. Morning, Tom. I got a reply to that telegram you sent. What does it mean? It means I've been real stupid. I couldn't leave you. I'm so glad. You know, I've had all day to think about it, Archie. I mean, what exactly was I trying to prove by staying here? And I decided that I should go with you. That is, if you still want me to. That's no longer necessary. Get rid of the derringer you carry on your leg. But you don't sound... Do it. What? 
Your voice has changed. Who are you? Jack the Ripper. But what's in a name? I have several, actually. Archibald McCann, for one. Does it suit me? Was there a real Archibald McCann? Oh, yes. He caught up with me in New York. He was clever, but not much of an opponent. I took his name, his hat, his gun. I don't know where he got it. They don't carry guns in England. I didn't help him, did it? I put him in a shallow grave. I'll spare you the details. I took his whole identity. Don't you see how ingenious that was? As Inspector McCann, I could go anywhere, do anything, always above suspicion, always investigating myself. So it was a whole act. I really believed you cared for me. What I do? I'm enchanted by everything about you. <laughs> Skin? <laughs> Your pathetic attempts at elegance. There's a slight sting of lilac in your perfume that almost hides the scent of corruption. You think if you kill me... Dirt must be cleansed, Rita. Let's mm. go upstairs. We can have one for the road, so to speak. You played a great game, I'll give you that much. But what was the point of it? Amusement. I've always wondered what it was like to be on the other side of the law. And now I know. I had to wait a couple of weeks after I murdered Maggie Conroy before I could show up to investigate her murder. I played it by ear at first, and then Tilford gave me the chance to implicate him. So simple. The sheriff didn't believe in the Ripper. Not your Jack the Ripper. Until that is. Unfettered by what people call morality. Do you think I'm evil, Rita? Do you really know what that means? Is lightning evil or the cleansing torrent of a storm? It's just what is, what must be, like gravity. I bring peace to these poor, misguided souls. I'm the angel of death, Rita. There's no higher power. The whore, you above all should understand that what it means to place yourself outside the conventions of right and wrong. But I suspect you've missed the point. It's too bad. I almost feel sorry for you. It's a pity, but I think you're just a God-fearing girl at heart. You don't deserve to live. You do? You're a whore, Rita. <laughs> the business of sin. You and people like you poison the world. Only you call it. Welcome. Rita's house of delight. You crazy McCann. No, I'm not. Not at all. I'm just a street cleaner no. flushing out the gutters, no. leaving behind the occasional warning. Now tell me, who deserves to die? <gasps> Time to go upstairs, Rita. No. After you kill me, what then? McCann vanishes. Ah. Get back! Give away! I was right about you. A real prize. A dish to be savored. But it's over, Rita. You've already taken longer than all the other girls. Give me the knife. You won't use that. No? Why not? Because you won't get any pleasure that way. You're right. I prefer the knife. If you give it to me now, I'll make it quick. Force me to take it from you, I'll make you pay. You have no choice, Rita. You see, I have this. That's it, Rita. It'll be over in a jiffy. Give me the knife, Rita. Give me the knife, Rita. That's my girl. Give it to me.
You can't kill Jack the Ripper. Oh. I told you I could take care of myself. I gotta hand it to you, Rita. When you take it in mind to kill a fella, you really do a job of it. He told me everything. He was gonna kill me. Yeah, you can give me the details later. I know who he was and what he's done. Wired the London police to inquire about McCann. Just caution, I guess. Got a reply this morning. Inspector Archibald McCann was 63 years old. Maybe I'm not as stupid as he thought. Well, we gotta let him know that Jack the Ripper's dead. It's important. Important in England, maybe. Consider my situation, Rita. I'm a small town lawman who drinks. I'd probably lose my job if people found out I got taken in by this character. And there could be consequences for you, too. For me? A lot of legislators in this state are keen to ban businesses of your sort. They're just waiting for a story like this one. So what are we going to do? Now that about does it. You want to say some words? Rotten hell, you son of a bitch. This gun of his is a nice weapon. You want it? Sell the damn thing. I can use the money to repair my banister. Okay. Hell of a deal, huh? I'm just thankful there aren't any more like him. He was unique, that's for sure. never been any official solution to the mystery of Jack the Ripper, who died as he lived, his secret buried by the dead man's gun. <laughs>